On the 19th of June, War Thunder naval battles entered closed beta. Right now, there are two nations available, each with four ranks of vessels, and 42 ships of all shapes and sizes in total. One day, we will speak about different classes of ships and particular models at length, but today, we just want to give you some information on a very specific subject, how to sink enemy ships. First of all, you have to understand that gameplay, and all the shooting naturally, differs a great deal depending on the class of your vessel. In most cases, it just boils down to the caliber and type of weapons that you have. The deadliest guns that smaller vessels have at their disposal are usually 40mm guns, while the same guns can only serve as auxiliary armaments on destroyers and light cruisers. Let's start with smallish vessels. It's easy to get the hang of MGs, but torpedoes are a different kind of beast. You might have between 2 and 12 of them depending upon your ship. There's a special aiming mechanism involved. Choose a target, press a middle mouse button, and you'll see a special white marker showing where you have to shoot. Almost there. Now, press Q and align white and green markers. That's it. Your little presents are already rushing towards the enemy. Just keep in mind that torpedoes are very finicky to use. First, their traveling speed in most cases is something around 81 to 83 kph. Second, they will only go, typically, as far as five and a half, six kilometers tops. Why even bother them? They are rather slow and don't travel far after all. Isn't it easier to blow the enemy to smithereens with conventional guns? Well, it might be easier, yes, but it takes a single clean hit with a torpedo to sink an enemy ship. Yep. Okay, you're finally at the distance of between 3 and 4 kilometers from your target, going on a parallel course. You shoot at it. The enemy shoots back. Your deck is on fire. The turrets are destroyed. It's time to employ torpedoes. Aim carefully. Take into account the distance to your enemy ship and the time your torpedoes need to reach it. Discharge five torpedoes, one after another, in a neat semicircle. Wait a few seconds. Boom. The enemy ship goes straight to the bottom of the sea. Ta-da! Now, let's speak about bigger guns. The ones that make really big explosions and really big holes. First, you have to get accustomed to increased distances. You use your aircraft to shoot an enemy plane from a kilometer away? Good job! Pend a tank at a distance of 1500 meters? Great! Ships are routinely engaging each other while being divided by 10 kilometers of sea. When engaging enemies at extreme distances like these, you have to learn to take a range. It's a very important skill. A small mistake might mean that your shots miss the target by a measly 100, even 200 meters, but that's still a miss. By default, you set the distance with a mouse wheel, one way or the other. It takes some time to get used to this, but it gets better, trust us. Choose a target, make a ranging shot, and then set the correct distance with the wheel. Okay, that's clear. But you still can't land a hit. The thing is that the longer the distance to the target, the further your shells have to travel, which means that you have to lead them more. Consider where you go and at what speed. Take into account the speed of your opponent. Adjust the sight accordingly and fire away. 
But then you get even closer to the enemy and your auxiliary guns start blazing. They won't even scratch the paint on the enemy vessel at this distance. So it's a good idea to set them to AA mode. Press E. See how the icon changes to air targets only? Press it again and they will only shoot at naval targets. Press again and they stop shooting at all. This is actually a very valuable option. A simple example, if you try to disengage using a smokescreen, your auxiliary guns will give away your position immediately. Out of the blue, there's a PT boat emerging from behind an island. It's approaching, approaching fast. You make a shot with the main guns, missed. Another try, still nothing. There are torpedoes incoming. Is it the end? Yep. Our gunners are still trying to find aerial targets. They miss the boat as well. It could have ended differently though. Your cowl has three types of guns. The first are the 127mm cannons best used to hunt big targets. The second type consists of 40mm Bofors autocannons that are there to down smaller targets and enemy aircraft. And then you get the 20mm Oilicons that also provide you with some AA capabilities. If you are suddenly approached by a smaller vehicle, just switch to your auxiliary armament. Simply press Alt 2 and there you are, controlling Bofors autocannons. A few volleys and the opponent is no more. It's just the same thing with enemy aircraft. If there are no dangerous naval targets nearby, feel free to switch to AA guns with Alt-2 or Alt-3 and show those pesky flyers who's boss. At the same time, don't forget that you can assign a specific target to your gunners. Just press X1, X2 or X3 and your guns will start blasting at priority targets of your choice. Well, that's it for today. Have anything to add? Please share your wisdom in the comments below.